Hi, I'm Paris, and I'm wearing my Bubbles shirt today to celebrate completing 40 sessions of hyperbaric oxygen treatment. And more than just celebrating finishing the treatment, I want to celebrate that it seems to have done the job fixing what I needed to have it fix. I have to give it a few months post-treatment to make sure things stay fixed, but all signs right now point to it being healed up. And if you don't know what I needed healed, I had radiation proctitis that started about a year and a half after I had proton beam radiation for prostate cancer. It zapped the rectum, which is right down there in the same neighborhood. And so I ended up after a year and a half out of the blue, I started getting bleeding that would come out with bowel movements, sometimes even without bowel movements. And um, it definitely became a quality of life issue. It's a commitment, basically took up my mornings for two straight months. It's expensive. I saw what they were charging the insurance. My portion of that, fortunately, much, much less. But even the out-of-pocket part for me is a couple thousand dollars. On my last day of treatment, they gave me a certificate of completion. Let me show you says that I completed 40 treatments at a depth of 40 feet. Now the other improvement I saw, though the treatment wasn't for this purpose, is the arthritis in this joint after about a week of treatment, it seemed to clear up. I found out um, halfway through from the doctor that it wasn't really that the arthritis magically healed, but the arthralgia, the, the joint pain, the, the nerves that were triggering that due to the oxygen, I guess, they calmed down and so the pain's been reduced in this by 90%, which has been great for the eight weeks that I was doing the treatments, but I was so worried that when the treatments finished, this would go back to how it was, making my thumb pretty much unusable. So it's been a week now since I finished the treatments and I'm still good, hoping it stays that way. Other people receiving the treatment at the same time as me, some of them saw lots of improvement, graduated and didn't have to come back. Some of them were still in mid-treatment when I finished mine. I would say unofficially, most people who talked about their conditions said that they were noticing improvement, but I don't know about complete resolution of their issues. I still felt bad to the very last day. The people who were diabetic and were in there for diabetic wound treatments, that they uh, test their blood sugar two thirds of the way through the treatment to make sure it's not getting too low because that can be a side effect of the hyperoxygenation. And at that two thirds mark, if their blood sugar is dropped below 100, they can't finish the treatment. They have to stay in the chamber, but they can't have the oxygen hood on. So they sort of miss the last third of the treatment. I saw that happen twice to someone and they were not pleased so unfortunately, to make sure they could receive the full treatment, people who were diabetic had to eat or drink sugary, unhealthy stuff to push their blood sugar numbers up close to 200 at the start of the treatment so they wouldn't fall below 100 by the end of the treatment. I felt bad day after day. These were people who seemed to be working hard to improve their diet, to improve their diabetes, and yet they had to do this every morning. I feel fortunate that my doctors going through my various cancer treatments have been supportive of the course that I wanted to take with my treatment and that between the doctors and myself we were able to convince the insurance company that this was the right course as well. But in the end it comes down to cost. Cost though is so strangely relative. In the picture I showed earlier, let me show you a close up here, you notice this hood that I'm holding. It's a clear plastic and then underneath there's just a piece of latex and they cut it so that they can put it over your head and it forms uh, an airtight seal. They put the oxygen, the exhaust hoses to the chamber and, and all that. That plastic, plastic latex. How much would you pay for one of those off the shelf? I saw on the itemized insurance bill that plastic hood and plastic ring, $700. As for hyperbaric oxygen treatment, I give it a big thumbs up while my thumb's still working. I'll do a follow-up on this and this and everything in a couple months time, let you know if everything that got fixed stayed fixed. Also, the eyes, because that's a common side effect of the hyperbaric treatment, the lens of your eyes absorb the oxygen and it affects their shape. So about two weeks into the treatment, my focus started changing about halfway through the treatment. Everything at a distance is not quite sharp, but I can read books up here again. I haven't been able to read anything this close in a decade and a half. 
that now that the lenses aren't being hyper oxygenated daily, they should go back to the shape they were before, which means I'm not going to be able to read up close anymore without reading glasses, but I will be able to see that sign 100 yards down the road again. As the lead technician at the Hyperbaric Center told me on my last day as I was leaving, he said, hey, you're welcome to come back and visit anytime, but we don't want to see you back here as a customer. I'll do my best not to be one, and I'll see you on the next review. There are so many choices and you don't want to stress. You want your health food and home receiving only the best. That's what we're here for. We give honest reviews. Paris DX.